Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we've got something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a sample Saturday. Uh, I don't do these very often. Uh, when I do, I'm just going to be kind of giving uh, a longer episode, let's say, and that's exactly what this is going to be. I'm, I'm reviewing something which I'll get into in just a moment, as you've probably seen from the title below. But um, these tend to be a little bit kind of less processed, a little bit less edited per se. I'll probably leave in a few talking mistakes. They're a bit more kind of live streamy, but not live streamy, if you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, they do take a bit of extra time, so I don't tend to do them every week as much as I would love to. I've got quite a lot of samples still to cover up here. I will get around to doing those at some point. But in any case, I've got something different today because uh, fairly recently uh, an email dropped my way and it was from this new subscription service that wanted to see if I fancied reviewing their, their kind of new, the new service, their new product. So um, I'm interested in that sort of thing. So I said, yeah, sure. I think uh, you might have seen them across the social media platforms with loads of different people, Instagrammers, reviewers, bloggers, all sorts of people have been getting involved and uh, seeing this kind of new subscription service in the UK. Um, I uh, have to say up front, I don't know exactly how far these guys will ship, but you can check out their website in the description below. Um, although I have put paid promotion on this video, that is because YouTube regulations state that if I am receiving anything of value to make a video, then I have to put that paper motion. So um, just to make it clear that I haven't received any money for this at all, all I've received is the dram in the post for uh, an honest and frank review of the service. So um, there you go. That's why paper motion shows up. And I don't mind saying that on these longer form videos. Um, if you ever see that on the video, that's what it is. I've just received the thing for free. And that's always in the description below as well. Just to clarify that point to you guys. In any case then, I've left the package on here because a package is an important part of this procedure because as you can see, this will fit nicely through a letterbox. And uh, another thing as well is this is a 100% recyclable packaging. I don't know if they're gonna change the packaging later, but um, I'm just reviewing the first package as I've received it. And um, that's good because we'll get into that in a moment about why the recyclability of this is important. So let's see what we've got inside. So we've got a, uh, a little, little leaflet and a wee dram, you can see that, like, I mean, that's full. I've not even tried this yet. This isn't a review of the whiskey itself, um, which uh, is the Mast House Column Malt, which is um, English whiskey, which is interesting enough. Uh, and I will cover them at a later date when I do a proper review, if I ever get around to doing such things. But yeah, so we've talked about the package, 100% recyclable, let me just check, nothing else in there? Nothing else in there. No plastic whatsoever. Now, these guys, I don't think I've said the name yet, Whiskey Pioneer. Uh, and they are a new single dram monthly subscription and it's um, something like 7.95 and you'll receive a uh, 5 cl of a 50 milliliter or a double or whatever two drams um, sample through the post but their ethos is that when they can they will try to give us six cls or 60 mil in this case they have done so this is a, a full size bottle so sometimes you might get one and the fill level will be down sort of here but that's just part of it now, um, the big thing about Whiskey Pioneer is the um, sustainability of such things. Now, as you might notice, I don't know if my camera can show that sort of thing, it's got an ever so slightly smoky look to the bottle on this. And that's because these bottles are made for 100% recycled materials, plastics. And that will have some blacks in it as well, which will uh, no doubt taint the, um, the, the whiskey bottles. Some of them will be clearer than others, but that's all part and parcel of it. Um, a lot of uh, bottles and stuff like glass is fine, but it's um, hard to source at a cheap level. But um, these, you can see these have been custom made. You know, they've got Pioneer down the side. This is all stamped on there. That's not like a sticker or anything. So these have been custom made. Uh, and the other thing they're doing as well is, um, although these are fully recyclable, so you can just pop this in your normal recycling, I guess, uh, area dependent. You know, my area, I live in a fairly big city, so we, we cover most bases. But if you live out in the sticks somewhere, you might have to check. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But they're doing um, what a lot of people are doing, to be fair, which is that if you collect 10 of these, they'll get reused. But the important difference between that and other um, sample subscription services is that it's recyclable as well. Whereas those other ones, if you look really closely, they're not as recyclable as uh, previously mentioned because you can't just put them in normal recycling. You might have to take them something special. Uh, these ones will be kind of cleaned out properly if you choose to reuse them. But as I said, they can be also recycled. Uh, and I think it's something like that, you know, where they source it from is like um, uh, coastal areas where it would prevent this plastic going into the ocean. So it's not a cheap operation by any stretch. So for them to be able to produce this for 
this sort of money is pretty good pretty good in my opinion um but yeah so yeah we get this kind of like little fact sheet i won't um bore you with too much more details on the this but you can go to the website again link in the description below that isn't an affiliate link um, as mentioned before i have no deal whatsoever with these people so i'm just doing this one review and we'll move on from there if you're interested you can go and check them out it doesn't benefit uh, the channel you know it's, i'm not going to earn any money from trying to send you there just giving you my honest opinion of these people let's get into the whiskey because we want to try some whiskey uh, need a glass so what should we get the old aquavita glass lovely lovely um, and as I said, usually when I do a review, which is why this is not a review, I would have checked this out previously. I would have poured it out. I would have done some nosing details on it and see what we've got. Um, but I do know some information about it. It's uh, not completely off my radar. And this is a good opportunity to show you the, the color of the bottle, ever so slightly smoky. And I have to say, I really like that. It um, doesn't put me off at all. You know, there are enough bottles in this world uh, that actually have proper whiskey in them. Proper, it's pro you know what I mean? Yeah, a full size bottle that's smoky glass or even black glass, You're completely opaque, all kinds of nonsense going on. You know, Brooklady blue bottles. So, I, personally speaking, I can forgive them a non clear plastic bottle. Also, uh, you know, I like the tactile squidginess of it. This will fit through your letterbox. Not every subscription service does. Um, some do, of course. So I'm not trying to say this is the only one that doesn't. So, yeah, we have here the Mast House column malt whiskey uh, i don't know if it's um no added color or whatnot um i haven't kind of read through this that wasn't the point of this but should be a fairly interesting whiskey um it's a distillery that um i haven't covered on the channel yet but they're fairly new to the market so some things i do know although it's called a column malt whiskey i do know they pot still it first and then transfer it over into their big old column still not sure why i guess it just makes a kind of different element to the whiskey uh, and as it says on here, it's a mixture of first fill and second fill ex-bourbon barrels, which is pretty cool. You know, they could have just put refill on that, um, but they've put second fill to kind of really denote that it's um, mainly that first fill and second fill. Let's have a little sniff and see what we've got then. Mm, certainly an interesting nose. It's very light, light and fresh. Some vanillas there. <sighs> Almost some kind of like apple notes. It's quite astringent on the nose, I have to say. It's quite, um, I don't want to say chemically, because chemically isn't really the right word um, to describe it. It's not synthetic, it's just, it's very, uh, it's kind of got an alcoholic nose to it. Not very descriptive, I know, but it's um, it's not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. It's, I wouldn't have immediately pulled it out as um, column stilled, even for just a second run, but there's definitely something peculiar about it that would really stand out in a blind tasting, I think. Let's try on the palette. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's got quite a big bite to it. It's um, 45%, no-ish statement, as we said. So I can't imagine it's much um, older than than three years or something like that, but let's have another sip. There's a lot to d dissect there. <laughs> yeah, it's got some early vanillas. You can definitely pick up some kind of column still vibes from it now um it's it's hard to kind of convey uh, i always talk about this kind of like gassiness but it's um uh, it's something that's really quite lo lovely if you're into your column still stuff if you're into like your single grain stuff mostly column stilled and uh that's it's a very interesting flavor profile like um creamy isn't a very good descriptor either but it's it's on that vibe it's that maltiness that kind of creamed malt instead of that biscuity element bags of like kind of lemongrass and things like that and there's almost a kind of like juniper element to the back end of this that's um quite interesting it's um very spicy and peppery as well mm. yeah i'm obviously reluctant this is not a review of their whiskey at all just my first impressions um i would say it probably could do with um a couple more years to kind of really develop those um those extra kind of first fill elements to it but nice enough. I don't know how much this uh, retails for. Um, I, I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna want to say, as a rough guess, that because it's a newer distillery, it's probably going to be in the 40s odd. But that's pretty normal these days um, because um, you know younger distilleries uh, haven't got the output to cover the costs. So they um, they do have to release it slightly more expensive because their production costs 
don't can't they they just cannot release whiskies for 20 pound you know like um i covered in my last video that's ham you know they've been going for years and years and years and they've got stock to cover that sort of thing so um yeah interesting whiskey interesting whiskey interesting service as well uh, and again if you are interested in checking these guys out a bit more then go in the uh, description below and you can see a, just a, a non-affiliate link and you can go and have a look and decide for yourself um i think if you're quick enough i don't know when you'll be watching this but if you watch it on release i think that they've got like a deal on the website where you can get 50 percent off the first dram if you sign up to their um their email list or something like that but um again not part of the no nonsense whiskey vibes um that's not a, a link or anything like that just go and check it out if you're interested um yes it's another subscription service but um i think these guys are going to be doing some really interesting stuff they're not going to be doing stuff that are, are coming out in supermarkets or just easily attainable and i think it's probably very unlikely um if the kind of pr is to believe let's say that you're going to be getting whiskies in the post that you've already got on your shelf. That's just what they've told me. So yeah, go check them out if you're interested. If not, we'll move on to the next video.